I want to start firstly by congratulating the organisers of the Stress Management Revolution Summit 2021. This is a very important summit and uh, from having a quick look at the agenda there are a large number of speakers who come from various fields and have expertise in various fields that I'm absolutely certain uh, will make a very significant contribution uh, throughout the next couple of days of this summit. Uh, the summit itself uh, seeks to uh, create opportunity for discussion and awareness raising uh, about issues that affect multicultural communities. Uh, I'm very pleased to be involved uh, at this point because as many of you will know, my electorate, the federal seat of Cornwall, is an electorate that's home to a very culturally and linguistically diverse community. Uh, our communities uh, have settled in this country at different stages uh, of our migration period, with the most recently arrived coming here as under the refugee program from Iraq and Syria. Almost all of those communities, whether they come here as migrants, skilled migrants, international students, um, or as refugees, all of them face similar issues when they come to live in a country where there's lots of cultural and linguistic diversity. Uh, in Cornwall itself, we are also home to a large number of uh, migrants from the subcontinent, in particular India, and uh, I find my role in particular always focuses on how I can use my own experiences as a migrant and also how I can use the expertise that I have developed over the years and how I can use my role as a Member of Parliament to advocate for and to raise awareness uh, for the challenges that are faced by many of my culturally and linguistically diverse communities. In particular, um, we need to take note that during this COVID pandemic, the level of stress and mental health has increased uh, quite, quite dramatically. I think we're all aware of that. Uh, we need to try and find a way in which we can respond to the different uh, mental and psychological pressures that our communities face. Uh, many of them are associated with uh, isolation. Um, many of them are the result of the traditional family relationships, which are very important to the people in my community. Uh, they form the basis of interaction and recreation and just social, social interaction itself. When, when they are curbed as they are during lockdowns, people become, people's stress levels and mental health is heightened. Uh, because they find that they are disconnected from those very important uh, family relationships and interactions. Uh, we have to pay particular attention to the young people in our communities. I know for a fact how important um, uh, mental health, the relationship between mental health and exercise and physical activity is. Uh, during lockdown, many of our young people have to find different ways of continuing to pursue their uh, physical exercise and also many of my young people here locally um, are avid participants um, and visitors to gymnasiums. We find that that sort of activity helps um, in alleviating a lot of the pressures uh, that are associated with uh, isolation and cause stress and, uh, live and uh, accelerate or elevate mental health uh, to a point where it becomes a crisis in the community. Um, in addition, a lot of my uh, elderly community uh, are very prone to being isolated. If family can't visit, they can't see their grandchildren, they're more likely to become um, depressed or uh, their mental health will suffer as a result of that isolation. A large number of our community here uh, is a faith-based communities, therefore interaction with their places of worship and is very important to them, it's very important to their spiritual and mental health and trying to find a way to ensure that they are not disconnected from their faith is very, very important to their long-term health. Uh, a large number of our community as well um, are migrants that ordinarily have difficulties interacting with the broader community and we do a lot of work, certainly I do a lot of work and a lot of my uh, service providers uh, are engaged in lots of uh, work to ensure that people have not felt, do not feel disconnected and to ensure that we do 
successfully integrate our communities. Um, and the more success we have in doing that, the more success we would have in alleviating people's stress and improving their mental health. So understanding, appreciating, embracing, being responsive to the various cultural and linguistic and faith needs of our community is very important to their well-being. And I do hope that this conference uh, throughout today and tomorrow explores those opportunities and finds way, ways, practical ways to addressing uh, all the sorts of uh, issues and challenges that arise, not only from the COVID pandemic, which has uh, uh, amplified them, but generally from um, a, a community that is working its way through the integration process. So I'd like to congratulate you, wish you all the very best of luck, and I certainly look forward to uh, hearing about the results uh, of the summit.